chance to discuss Eastern philosophy with a man who's been published in six languages, is a Rhodes Scholar, and has the cutest buns this side of the Twin Cities. I've always been attracted to men with intelligence. You know? Hey, could you hold that? <laughs> hey, Cletus! I didn't see you coming. I used to hear that a lot when I was boxing professionally. <laughs> Woo! We don't usually see you in here so early, Mr. W. No, sir. Kate's the one who's always in early. Every day. Weekend and week out. Yeah? Well, today I'm the early bird for a change. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, when Mr. Halloran passed away, I was worried about who your new partner would be. Mm. I'm glad it was Kate. Aren't you? I thank God every day. <laughs> She's always smiling, asking me how things are going at the pressing table. Usually offering me a donut. They should look good on you, Brenda. Everything looks good on you. Nice chatting with you, boss. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> What's going on in my office? Why is Brenda in her skivvies? Can't you knock? Knock? It's my office. You see what I have to put up with? Vividly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. It just never occurred to me that you'd be here on time. It's my company. You understand? Whenever I get here is on time. Buenos dias, Hola, Kate. Oh, buenos dias. Uh, ¿Cómo está usted? Muy bien. Very good. <laughs> Sonia will speak the Spanish as good as Julio Iglesias. Julio es muy uh, macho. Oh. <laughs> I am Maria Consuelo. Me llamo Maria. Me llamo Consuelo. Anytime. <laughs> oh, Sam. <laughs> You had such a, a lovely way with people. If you don't mind, I'm going to use my office now. Good morning, Sam. Listen, Brenda, the next time you decide to do a strip in my office, give me some warning. <sighs> you meant that in the worst possible way. <laughs> Sam, I have an idea about our accounts receivable. Can't you see I'm not in a good mood now? You seem your usual chipper self. Anyway, I was going over our accounts receivable last night, and I came Last up... night? Uh-huh. You worked last night? Again? Well, I, I couldn't sleep, you know. So naturally, you've come up with another half-baked idea that's gonna take two hours of my time to explain to you why it's stupid. Sam, I've told you before, I can't hear you when you yell. Kate? Kate! I can't take much more of this. Every night you work, you take another day off my life. Brenda, I want you to make a copy of this memo. For Why don't you just get a gun and put a bullet in my head? Single space, four copies. Kate! Hey. <laughs> oh, yes? Just do me a favor. Whenever you have trouble sleeping, just do what other people do to fall asleep. Turn on Merv Griffin. <laughs> I like Mary. Then go bowling. Get married again. Have some more kids. Either you read it or eat it. <laughs> All right. I'll read it. But I won't like it. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, there's yeah. more to life than just work. Is this something you learned last night from Mr. Buns? <laughs> oh, a date will do you good. Brenda, the last date I had lasted for 22 years and produced two children. I just don't have time for that kind of an evening. <laughs> hey, it, it's been six months since Dan's death. But maybe it's time to start getting out. Look, if I spent all my energies on a social life, I wouldn't have anything left for the business. <laughs> Great idea. Fascinating stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, mm. Let's see. Uh, married guy. Married guy. Bum. Corporation. Black guy. <laughs> You're worried whether dating has changed since the olden days. And what the guy will think of you. Why, you're probably worried whether any man will find you attractive. Widow, two kids, middle-aged, Brenda. <laughs> Don't help me anymore. <laughs> Just don't. Drunk. Slob, bozo, woman, widower, widower. Hmm. Hmm. Responsible, owns a business. Perfect. 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 <laughs> uh, hi, is Chuck in? Uh, this is Sam, downstairs at H&W. No, no, that was my partner who died. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, too. Listen, could I talk to Chuck? Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Chuck! Sam Waltman. <laughs> no, that was my partner. Uh, yeah, speaking of death, I was really dis I was really sorry to hear how you lost the little woman. Really? A whole year ago. Oh my, 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 my. my, my. Say, Chuck, do you remember meeting Kate Halloran, Dan's attractive young widow? Warm, friendly, anxious. To make a long story short, she's got hot pants for you. <laughs> no, her words exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking if you wanted to uh, hook up with Kate some night, uh, you could... Uh... No, tonight's fine. Yeah, why don't you drop in at the Golden Cockatoo at 9 o'clock, and then I could... No, eight's fine. Yeah, just don't let her know that this call took place. Yeah, right. No, no, no. Five's too early. <laughs> hey, hey, it'll be good for her, too. Believe me. Take it easy. Right. Sam. Ah! Sam, I know what you're doing, and I know why. You do? What a dear, sweet thing to do. <laughs> Hey, Kate, look here. What? My little boy just lost his first baby tooth. Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> yeah, just like his daddy. Yeah. For a minute there, I thought you were going to show me a picture of the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, a bicuspid. Oh, Katie, dear. Good. We have a word. I heard it, too. Ha! Kate, 
Your ideas on accounts receivable have knocked my socks off. Now let the other shoe drop. <laughs> there is no other shoe. And your socks are knocked off? I'm emotionally barefoot. <laughs> Great idea. Wow. Okay. I'd like to go over this with you in depth. Say, over dinner? My treat? Your treat? Uh -huh. I was thinking of chowing down at uh, the Golden Cockatoo. This is the place where all the old-time movie stars ate before they died. <laughs> Well, I hope not right before. <laughs> I'll pick you up at 7.30. What do you say? Well, if it's your tree, yeah. okay, 7.30. Uh, yeah. Did you just giggle? It was a belch. Oh, a belch. Shannon, I thought you were going to set the table for me. Timothy, I thought you were going to set the table for me. Then you're a fool. <laughs> Do you see what I have to put up with? Only too clearly. <laughs> That's Sam. Timmy, tell Sam I decided to cook. Sure, Mom. Okay. Well, Mom decided to cook. <laughs> What's she cooking for? Hi. Hi, Sam. Have a seat. What do you mean? I thought we were going out. Well, I have to cook for the kids anyway. Let's just eat here. Huh? Well, I have reservations. So do I. But, 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 but this is a special place. They, they got a salad bar, and they got a piano player. You got a piano player here, huh? I play the harmonica. That's nice. Save your money, Sam. Will you let me be nice? Okay. Okay. Great. Kids, finish dinner and do the dishes. I could be back any time, so act accordingly. <laughs> oh, interesting place, Sam. How did you ever find this? I had my bar mitzvah here. <laughs> Why don't you look over some of the biggies who chowed down here while I check on our reservation? Mm -hmm. Reservation for Sam Waltman? Party of two, yes. Welcome to where the stars die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, there's another guy coming to join us. Oh, dear, you need a table for three. No, 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 no. Listen, a few minutes after he gets here, I want you to come over there and tell me that I've got a phone call. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Our secret. Ooh. They've got a picture of Clark Gable signed, I'd burn down Atlanta for some of your ribs, Rhett Butler. Oh, wow, I'm having the ribs. <laughs> Your table, sir. Okay. Hey, isn't that the guy with the B.O. on those commercials? No wonder he's eating by himself. You can send our waiter over. We'll order drinks now. I am your waiter. Okay. I'll have a double scotch neat. Um, I'll have a uh, Virgin Mary. Huh? I'm Catholic. Hey, I'm Jewish, but you don't see me ordering a Shirley Temple. Well, if you're going to be nice, I want to remember it. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Hi. Do you have a match? Oh, yeah. Telephone for you, sir. <laughs> no, there isn't. Yes, there is. Excuse me. See, that wasn't the right guy. Yes, it was. The call was for him. Sorry. Well, Sam, now tell me, what did you think was the best part of my, my memo, huh? Chuck? Hmm? Is that Chuck Berwick from our building? I thought that was you, Sam. This is Chuck Berwick, president of Chuck 
Berwick Imports. Hello. You must be Kate Halloran. <laughs> well, how'd you know that? So, Chuck, what in the world are you doing here? Um, Eating. I'd love to. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't mean, no. I didn't mean no, no, no. for him. It's a great idea. It'd be nice for Chuck. He lost his wife a year ago. Shouldn't he be looking for? <laughs> Telephone call for Mr. Stan Kalman. <laughs> Don't you mean Sam Waltman? No. <laughs> it, it's for me. I, I, I know it is. Excuse me. Kate, I'm going to leave you in Chuck's capable hands. <laughs> nice place. Uh, Charlton Heston says, thou shalt eat here. <laughs> you, you dance? What do you mean? Like tap? Oh, no, like, like them. Oh, no. No, not really, no. See, I, I don't get out much since uh, my husband died. Although I didn't get out much when he was alive either. <laughs> I'd like to take you out. What? Uh, you know, dinner, a little dancing, maybe. Uh, what do you say? Oh, no, thank you. No, I, I couldn't. H how about a movie? I've seen a movie. <laughs> well, 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 whatever you like to do is fine with me. I, I just like your company. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, sure, why not? There you go. I like you, Kate. I like you, Chuck. You're not like most women. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you, you see what you want, you go right after it. Not afraid to tell the world you have hot pants. <laughs> I'm not. Um... <laughs> no, no, don't be coy. That, 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 that's what you said you got for me. <laughs> when, uh, when did I say that? Today. Sam told me. I, I know I wasn't supposed to say anything, but I have to be honest. I'm in Est. <laughs> uh, Chuck, um, how's your heart? Fine, fine. Well, good, then here it is. Um, what Sam told you is a complete lie. Uh. <laughs> then you don't have hot. Never had them, never will. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. Chuck, oh. Please, it's not your fault. Oh, my, 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 my. Chuck. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Hey. My, my, my. hey, Chuck, wait, where are you going? Oh, my, my, my. my. Where's he going? He's looking for someone with hot pants. Oh, my, my, my. Uh, you need another drink? I know I do. Where's that pesky waiter? Sam, sit. <sighs> Sam. Yes? Your gutter slime. <laughs> Hey, come on. I didn't mean anything. I just wanted you to have a social life so you'd get the hell out of my way at work. The employees want to make a statue of you. It's Kate this and Kate that. You only been there six months. I got 24 years of my life tied up in that place. I, I, I own the company and it's... Uh, I feel like I don't even belong there anymore. You're jealous of me, aren't you? That's stupid. <laughs> so just to uh, make you feel better, I was supposed to marry this guy? Bear his children, maybe? No, no, I never planned anything like that. I hoped it, but I never planned it. A minute there, I thought... 
Chuck was attracted to me. But all he really cared about was the temperature of my underwear. <laughs> Chuck's a jerk. I'll never know what you saw in him. Yeah, and there are millions of guys out there that just can't wait to go out with a widow with two kids. Hey. Hey. You've always been a red-hot number. I'm not interested in your crude evaluation of me. <laughs> but let's hear it. Kate, I'm going to tell you something that maybe I shouldn't tell you. 22 years ago, when you walked into H&W applying for that seamstress job, I said to myself, now there's a vine ripened tomato. <laughs> Unfortunately, your Danny felt the same way. So, we decided to settle our differences in a civilized, intelligent manner. We flipped a coin for you. <laughs> Whenever we had differences, we always flipped a coin. Danny called heads, which was his lucky call always. And I called tails, cause I did. <laughs> anyway, it came up heads. Kate, I remember that sexy redhead real well and and i guarantee you she wouldn't be dead in the water today <laughs> so say something then i huh? i don't know how to tell you this but right. um Danny had a two-headed coin. Sorry. He did? Put you for the check. Heads. Morning, AM. L.A. weather looking great today. Look for a high of about 75 at the Civic Center, 68 at the beaches. <laughs> Is anybody in there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sam, you're here so early, I can't possibly keep up with you. Where the hell have you been? I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> Don't push your luck. <laughs> Monday, Neil Diamond, Barbara Mandrell, and Boy George on the all-new Barbara Walter Special. Then, Jack Lemmon hosts the 57th Annual Academy Awards, live, all starting at 8, 7 Central, Monday. Tuesday, Malcolm and Jenny race to avert a tragedy when a man with a loaded gun refuses to believe that he and his ex-wife are through. On Magruder and...